Preseason is always a, a fun time of the year. It's, it's the most exciting time of the year for us. And uh, we're, we're really just excited to kind of like finally get into the actual regular season. Uh, everyone is excited to really hit the field tomorrow night against Spring Arbor and, and, and open up. It's been a, a long three weeks of preseason training. Um, thankfully, we haven't uh, had too many injuries so far um, that have been, whether it's a season-ending injury or, or whatnot, um, maybe just a few tweaks here and there. But for the most part, guys have been working extremely hard. Um, the one thing I'm really excited about is our depth this year. And I think once we get guys um, back from whether it's an eligibility issue or taking some summer courses or some injuries and we're at full strength, we're going to look uh, pretty exciting on the field. So we're, we're really excited about that. Um, looking forward to it tomorrow night. So some of our key returners are coming back. Obviously, we've got guys, a lot of seniors that are um, – key to our to our success obviously our leading goal scorer uh, Jean Emmanuel Ahuman is coming back a, a Montreal kid um, who, who led the team in scoring last year only played in half the season last year because we were still trying to get him cleared from his transfer um, but was a very successful left-footed player can play as a withdrawn forward and so he's going to be a real asset for us um, several other guys uh, wanted to mention Kyle Finley coming off an ACL tear from last year so he didn't play all of last year in the 2015 season so he's looking a lot more sharp even even better from the from the spring season and so we're really excited to get him back up front um, and, and so and then there's several other guys that I think will be key for us whether it's Joe Stacy or um, uh, Scott Murray both of those guys are going to be able to come in and give us quality minutes um, whether it's as a starter or coming off the bench um, and then obviously one of our captains, um, Eli Harefield, he's been here for four years with us here uh, on campus and definitely a great leader both on and off the field. We're excited to see him. Those are some of our uh, returning players. We've got a fresh load of new players coming in, um, really from about 12 different countries. So it's going to be an interesting uh, dynamic. And, and, and what I've really seen so far here in preseason camp is, is the, the quick uh, turnaround and, and camaraderie of our guys and I'm really excited about that. That's always a, a question mark for us as we start a new campaign and, and a lot of turnover from this past year. And so we've got a couple of Portuguese kids coming from, from the central midfield position, um, both Duarte and, and Joel. Both will be great uh, additions to us in the middle of the park. We got some senior leader, or some, me, some older leadership, but they're new players. Uh, Mario Mayer, who's actually going to be a, one of our captains, even just as a first-year player from Austria, he'll be as a center back. Um, and then some exciting uh, players out wide, uh, whether that's Jamil Young from Trinidad and Tobago, or left-footed players uh, who's kind of a left wing back, Rafael Sofuero from from Montreal. So there's several other guys as well that we're excited about too. But those are just uh, to, to name a few of them. The, the first five games are really going to test us, um, and, and that's really what we wanted to happen. Um, it doesn't start easy, um, and, and as we transition into the, the conference play, which is a little bit earlier this year, it's going to be interesting to see how we, how we fare up. Spring Arbor, a team that made um, the NCCA Nationals the last several years, um, has always made the Crossroads Final in the last couple years. Um, they're coming in with a very good core group coming back. Um, and that's what we've got to be able to be ready for. They're going to be very well organized. Um, they, they've, got, they've got what it takes on the field. Um, they've got some, some very good leadership. And, and a good friend of mine um, and, and one of the head, the head coach, um, Nate, um, he's, he's, a, he's a great guy. He's done really well for the Cougars up there um, for, for Spring Arbor. And so we're not expecting anything but the best from them. They've got one game under their belts. And just a one one nil draw, or excuse me, one nil victory over Cornerstone last weekend. Um, hopefully, we'll we'll throw them off a little bit. They play on turf, and we play on natural grass, so hopefully that will help us a little bit in our advantage. Um, but definitely a good team, and uh, we got to be ready for them. They're organized. Uh, they they like to press the ball quite a bit, um, and, and they're dangerous up top. So um, one thing I do like that we've done so far here in the preseason camp is we're, we've been very well organized defensively. And I hope that, that we can continue that throughout that first, that first game tomorrow night.